welcome. You're about to see a bikini try on haul. I know that it is not summer. Maybe in Australia it's about to be summer, but like here in the US it's not. But I have been wanting to try these swimsuits and I just figured, you know what? Let's just get them. Maybe I'll be able to wear them next summer. But it is finally getting cold. I turned my heat off so that then the noise from the heat wouldn't go onto my camera, but um, I'm gonna try these bikinis on for you and hopefully you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys wanna follow me on my socials and just keep up with my life and like other things that I'm doing or want to give me requests of things that you wanna see on my channel, go to my Snapchat. It will be down here and my Instagram and you can just go follow those. I have a couple different accounts, but these are my main ones. So. If you're curious about all of them, you can just go to my description box down below. But today we are going to be doing a Frankie's Bikini haul. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different pieces that I'm going to be reviewing. They're either in a large or an extra large and I'm really scared to try these on because I am the thickest I've been in a very, very long time, like probably three years, this is like the heaviest I've been. But I've been working on myself and I feel like my body composition is different as well. So like, I'm just hoping that this stuff's gonna fit. But if you're a curvy girl like me and you are wondering if this stuff's gonna look good and fit you, you've come to the right place because we're gonna find out together. And I'm gonna tell you my impressions, my honest review, these things I bought with my very own money and they're pretty expensive, you guys but i really wanted to try it and make a video and show you guys so with that being said i have a few different kinds i have first i have three different like bikini sets and then i have like this set which has two tops and one bottom i'm pretty sure let's see bottom top oh so i have actually two bottoms and one top for this set and then I have, this one is a large, and then this one is a large top and an extra large bottom. And this one is extra large on these two and then a large bottom on one of them. So you're definitely going to see how these things all fit. They're all different sizes for the most part and styles. So you're going to get to see like... Maybe one will fit me better than another. But yeah, so getting into my sizing, I do want to make clear that I'm going to try these on and show you as I talk about my review. So um, I'm going to just tell you my sizes, jump off cam, and then try them on, film that part, and then uh, formulate my opinion and then get back on camera, talk to you about it, and then I'll put me trying it on over me talking about it so you can see how it actually looks, if that makes sense. So with that being said... I am 5'9", 226 pounds currently at this moment, and I'm kind of bloated because I'm on my period right now, so if that also helps, just know that I'm a little bloated. And then um, my chest size is a 36 triple D or a 36 F, depending on the day and how my boobs are feeling. And then, um, but I'm always a 36 triple D, so if you have bigger chests like me, then keep in mind when you are watching this that these will probably fit you very similarly and my opinion on these will probably help you a lot with making your decision. Um, yeah, so I am also a size 16 in jeans, so I have a very um, hanging stomach. You'll probably see that in the try-on portion. So I always look for bottoms that are going to be more flattering. So if you struggle with those things too, hopefully this helps. I have stretch marks, I've been through weight loss, weight gain, and eating real good, eating not so good. So this is a great review for someone that's done those similar things and you're a thick chick like me. So anyways, I'm going to hop off camera now and I'm gonna try these on and I'm gonna come back with my uh, personal opinion and uh, let you know what I think. All right, you guys, so I am back. I have tried everything on. As you can tell, I actually left this top on because I thought it was way cuter than what I was wearing earlier. It's a swimsuit top. And now we're gonna get into it. So I guess I'm gonna start with the green that I'm wearing right now and then we'll do the, the solid color and then the other color. So first of all, I wanna say this is a Frankie's Bikinis review. I got only extra large and large and I went into it with a very open mindset. I really tried to find things that 
would flatter my body you know like I wasn't sure like what the fabric was gonna feel like so I guess the first thing I want to say is like it is definitely a swimsuit material it feels really nice though it's not too thick not too thin um, the sleeves are thinner and then this is actually double um, double fabric so I really like that about that because I feel like the sleeves are able to be movable a lot so I like the quality of it I feel like all of the stuff has extremely good quality um, I was really surprised by the feeling of the fabric itself for all of these um, but yeah so I would like to say this this piece that I'm wearing right now is probably my favorite out of all of the things that I got this one is gonna get a 9 out of 10 the reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is just because I know that like with this piece I'm gonna get the worst tan lines ever I probably would not actually wear this if I'm gonna be in the Sun because it's just gonna give me like a farmer's tan and if I'm gonna get a bikini I personally would not want this one but it is really amazing quality it holds the girls up and as you guys know I have a pretty big saggy natural chest so <laughs> they're not gonna sit all the way up here so the fact that this has support is awesome and then I love the fact that this string you can pull it and make it tighter or not and um, I really like that this is an extra large so I did get an XL in this top and then I've picked out two different bottoms so this top is called the Ryan top in tide so this is the green tide color it's an XL and um, that is what the tag looks like when I go to buy it so I do like it it says due to the nature of the tie-dye pattern no two bikinis will be the same all items should be washed inside out in cold water gentle cycle or by hand so when it comes to washing you're gonna have to remember not to just throw it in with all your other stuff um, just be careful about that, but it is tie-dye and I really like this I think this is probably the most flattering out of all of them uh, just for myself and Then I got two bottoms. So the first pair of bottoms that I got I actually got this in another color and I'll explain why I like these better than the other one So I really like the tie-dye pattern. I feel like it takes away from if you're feeling self-conscious and stuff and it fits and it hides like if you want to have it up on your stomach line you can this is an XL this is meant to be cheeky and I like it that way I think it is a very um, flattering piece it's comfortable it the fabric is double like double-sided I guess um, I guess that's how I'm gonna explain it so there's two pieces rather than just one tiny piece I really like that because it shows the quality in it they all come with the glorious sticker strips which I love and then I just really like the pattern overall I feel like it's a very flattering color the patterns are cool I love the fact that it's tie-dye um, this one's an XL and it fits very well so if you're looking I would not say large I would <laughs> before we even get into this actually a lot of these are a large because they don't sell it in XL that I think is one of the biggest downfalls of the company the site because this makes your booty look good this is an XL. If I were to get this in a large, I would look like a stuffed sausage. I barely can fit into this and want to go out in public. So if you're wondering, like definitely do XL um, if you are around my size. So that one is a very good one for the booty. Now this one is called the Tasha Bottom in Tide. So obviously the Tide is the color and then it's called the Tasha Bottom. And this is how it came just like this this isn't a large so I feel like if I would have been an extra large it might have been good but also the style is just not that flattering for my body type because I do have a stomach I definitely think it was cute um, I feel like they should have it in XL but I think that because the sides are adjustable and tieable it is a really good piece to have I also really like the fact that this can be bunched up because then you can make it more like a thong and I know that a lot of people are like what are you talking about but that's a trend right now and I see that all the time with Instagram models and I know that for me personally like I am not an Instagram model you guys so um I just I just know that like if I'm trying to appeal to the Instagram model community this would probably be a really awesome bottom for it and it would still be cute and you can pull it out around your parents and scrunch it up like a little thong and pull it up your butt when you're around your friends so I really like this one I think it's a very good piece um, I would give this an, uh, a 7 out of 10 because of the size if they didn't if they were to carry XL it would probably be a lot better but I don't think they do a lot of their swimsuit bottoms don't some of their tops don't either so it's just kind of hit or miss um, 
if they were to do that, it would probably get an 8 out of 10. But I do like this, and I do like being able to have access to something that is so versatile. Um, and if I didn't have a belly, it would be very attractive. So, it's still attractive. I'm not trying to hate on myself, but it just, you know, it's, this one is definitely more flattering to my body type. This one's more Instagram model. So, now let's go into this color. So this is a solid color, and I'm actually a huge fan of the fabric, the material. It's, a, it's different. It's silky. It feels really good. This is also double fabric. It is, I'm pretty sure, the, oh, it's not. I thought these two were the same, but they're not, and now that makes sense um, because I thought they were the same, but the, that one's the Ryan bottom, the green one. This one is the Nick bottom. See that? I just learned something new. So this one I think is flattering. I also think it's not that flattering. I think the fabric's different and that's why it's harder for me to work with. I would wonder um, if it would get stretchy. It's really stretchy. So I wonder if it were to get wet, if it would be a problem. Um, it fit me very well. I just don't know how I feel about like, I think it needed like a thicker strap or something. But I mean, this is one of the styles. So I tried this. I liked it. You can see how it looks on me. The fabric is very soft. So if you're someone that wants some super soft bikinis that are comfortable, this one's awesome. And then I got this in a large top. And this one is called the All Top. And it's in a large. And there's the color right under it, BLJ. And I like this top a lot. Only thing I would say, definitely not going to support your girls. So if you are looking for a top that is going to hold the girls up and you don't have perky boobs, this is not the top for you. As long as you're fine with having your boobs hang and just sit with the fabric, then you'll be okay. The other thing that I would say is like the back when I was wearing it was like this. So like it was all the way like high up on my back and then my boobs kind of just held it in with like the bottom part which looks like this so you can kind of see so you can see what it looks like on me right here i would rate this one probably an 8 out of 10 i really like it i think the fabric is very soft which is going to cause some problems um but when it gets wet i feel like it would be a perfect piece so i'm excited to wear this and try it out and just see like what would happen if it were wet just because the way the fabric is um it's a very silky soft one so you know if you have natural boobs and you're you know, try and do anything remotely active at all. And I'm saying like, if you want to lift your arms, it might fall out the bottom. So that's why I just bring this up because this is really cute, you know? But don't go to the water park wearing this one, okay? Um, and then, let's see. Yep, it's in a size large. It just says hand wash cold. So that is that one. Now we're going to get into the last and that is the tied but it's blue so these are tie-dye in blue so first things first I want to say this is the Tasha top looks like this I got it in a large because they don't have extra large do I think I need an extra large no do I think I should have tied it tighter probably but there's a reason I made it loose was because I wanted to show you like what it would look like if I was wear wearing it comfortably. If I wanted the girls to be perkier, I would definitely have to play around with it a lot more. Um, and I know it's not like it's a basic triangle top. So it's something that like I've worn plenty of times. Um, I love this color and I'm really, really disappointed because the bottoms are so cute, but they don't have it in XL. And I think they should have it in XL and XXL because of the style. So this one's a large 8 out of 10, you know. It's like a pretty basic top. I think you could probably buy it other places for cheaper. This stuff's pretty expensive. Some of the stuff I feel like is worth it. Like this top is just really pretty and unique. Um, the bottoms I feel like were just basic with matching it. But there are other ones. I just picked them as sets like that. So... These bottoms, I was, I tried these on first out of everything, and I was really disappointed in these because they are large, okay? But as someone who is bigger, I would definitely buy these in all of the colors if they sold it in XXL, okay? Because this one I feel like runs a little small, and I feel like if it were just a little bit bigger, and I bought it in a size bigger than what I would be, then it would be able to be over my stomach. Because if you see this V at the top, 
it is meant to just sit on your body like that. I am not someone who is thin. I will not be able to fit something like that. So it sat on my hips. So here's the front, like, like that. Because there's that little V that I don't know if you can see, but like, you know, you see that divot? You have to make sure that your bikini line is like 110% groomed. Um, as someone who gets waxed, like you have to wait three weeks to get your waxing appointment. So this one would probably be like not the most ideal because you have to let the hair grow to get it waxed back out. So I personally love this, but they would have to have like more sizes in order for me to buy it. I am not someone that looks that big. I don't look like a double X. There's a lot of people out there that would be able to fit this and I think that they need to expand on their sizes just slightly. They have a pink tie dye as well and it's so cute but they didn't have my size so i think one of the big things that i would say is like um this one would probably be a 10 out of 10 bottom if they had it in xxl honestly it's really cute um these are more for looks the little scrunch it doesn't really do anything on this one but because it is like a one size fits all like kind of like there's no adjustments on it like you can't mess with it very much you'd have to get the right size the first time so this one's called the reed bottom and it's in just the blue tie-dye so when you go on their site you can find it but yeah like i feel like a large would fit a lot of people that i know it just wouldn't fit me and my body type and anyone that's bigger than me i feel like it wouldn't fit um and if you have a tummy like me i would not recommend this one because it literally hangs out if you have a tummy i would recommend this one over the others but honestly I'm very picky with swimsuits so it's kind of hard because I want to buy something and spend my money on things that are worth it and I feel like if they had it, if they had this read one in a double X, I would be the first person to buy it. But because their sizing is not that great, I have it in a large. If I lose weight, eventually I could probably use it but um, if you're on a budget, I would highly recommend to do your research, figure out which one's gonna work for you because if you're buying it online, like, it's such a struggle and I feel like the bottoms are very finicky and I feel like the solid color, this one, you definitely wanna be aware of the fact that it's really silky and nice and good, it feels great, but, you know, if you have perky boobs, it'll be a really good fit for you. If you have saggier ones like mine, then the back will be up higher, so you just wanna think about that. The tie-dye, um, all the tie-dye stuff seems to feel like it's all the same material and it says that it is 83% nylon, 17% spandex for the tie-dye. Let's see if the reed is also the same because it's tie-dye. Yep. And then this one says that the fabric is 85% nylon and 15% spandex. So that 2% makes a really big difference. So if you're looking into it, just know the tie-dye does feel a little bit thicker. It's less soft, but it feels really good at the same time. This top is very flattering. So I am going to say this top is something that I would pack on vacation, but I would not wear it to the beach or in the sun because I just feel like it would be like I would get a farmer's tan. With that being said, though, I definitely plan on wearing all of these if I can. The bottoms that do not fit me, maybe eventually I'll be able to lose weight and wear them. But I do think that this is a pretty expensive brand, so if you are not able to afford it, there are other alternatives. If you are someone that is trying to find something that's going to work, do not settle on sizing down. Because this stuff is not going to be flattering, it's not going to look cute. So do your actual size. If you're watching this and you're like, I'm definitely an XL, like, don't buy something in a large because you're not going to feel comfortable in it, honestly. Because it's going to snug you like a little caterpillar and then suck you in and then give you those love handles and like... It's just not going to hug you in the right places. So if I could rate, my favorite would be this top. Second favorite would be this top. And then third favorite would be this top. I really love this pattern. I just wish they had it in um, maybe some different styles. I'm not really sure. But I love the color. They just didn't have a lot in XL. So when it comes to bottoms, I really love um, the reed bottoms if they were two sizes up. That would be my number one. And then the Tasha bottom, which actually does go with this. So there there are sets that you can buy. Um, I definitely do not fit the larges the way that I want to, as you can see on the video, 
but the extra larges seem to be much more. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. I have been so excited to put this video together for you guys because summer is coming. It's here, hunty. And if you are a fellow busty girl like me, it might be a love-hate relationship because when it comes to swimsuits, Throughout my years, honey, it has been a struggle to find something that can contain all of this goodness right here. And I'm trying to help all my fellow busty girls out trying to look cute this summer with a variety of different swimwear. So special thanks to Rain Swim and Panache for helping me make this video possible. I also included a few other companies in this haul as well just because I wanted to help give you guys a variety of choices as well as a variety of price points. So I'm freaking excited to try these on. And when I say I have a bunch of swimsuits to show y'all today, honey, I am not playing. I am not playing. This box, this bag, this right here, this right here. Okay, y'all, so the first brand I'm gonna be showing you is Panache. There is a variety of sets that they sent me. One pieces, two pieces, and they are all underwired. So any of y'all that are looking for a little extra oomph in your swimsuit, extra support, this is definitely going to be the brand to check out. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the very first swimsuit I have tried on and let me just say, the way it is hugging my body though, it looks so cute. This style is called Riviero and I have her in a 34J that is UK sizing. And let me just say, the underwire and everything how it fits is so comfortable. And I feel like it's super flattering on my stomach, it's making it look really really flat but one thing I do want to mention about this suit is trying to get it over my hips at first because there is underwire and the back is kind of all connected besides this little clamp it was a struggle so I just want to say if you are more of a pear shape with even wider hips than me um, it might be a little difficult to shimmy her on up but once I got past my hips, it was a breeze. I feel like this would be a good swimsuit that's pretty modest, but also super cute, say for like a family day. And it's not too sexy, but it still, you know, hugs all your curves. And honestly, I love everything about this besides the fact that it was pretty difficult to get on at first. But other than that, I think it looks really cute. Okay, so this next set is called Echo, and one thing that is different about her is the fact that she is indeed a halter top, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous when I realized she was a halter top because I've had some swimsuits in the past where they tie in the back, and if you have heavy boobs, it is not good. It hurts the back of your neck, but so far, this seems good. The band is wide enough where it's not digging in and it does have a little bit of give to it and on the actual suit it has this nice like 3d type of um pattern to it i don't even know what to call it but it's like little triangles and it looks really really nice the color on my skin tone i am digging so much i think it looks so cute Okay guys, so this next set is called Ana Riva. I may totally be pronouncing that wrong, but this is what she looks like. One thing that I found interesting is this one is built with a special spandex that helps resist the effects of chlorine. So if you've ever had a swimsuit where it starts to feel brittle and dried out and just no good, um, this is supposed to help resist the effects of chlorine and help the swimsuit last a lot better. And honestly, I feel like for a two-piece, this is super cute. You could literally pair it with so many things. Now this is a closer look at how she's constructed in the front. Again, nice different paneling to help bring the girls in, lift them. And we have some nice little gold accents as well. 
Okay, so this next set is giving me total pin-up sailor, nautical type of vibes, and her name is Lucille. Honestly, I really like this. For all my girls out there that want two pieces but don't want your tummy out, this is really nice, very flattering, these horizontal stripes. And again, it is going to be a full coverage brief as well. So I feel like this is very cute. I definitely love what they did with this navy blue and these little button accents. It just adds to that whole pinup type vibe and I'm here for it. Alright, so this last set that I have from Panache is called L and I am so obsessed with this pattern. I feel like it's really fun. It sets a totally different vibe. Definitely gives me nice like vacation type vibes out on the beach. And the fact that it has this nice braided straps, like I feel like that really adds a nice little touch. If you've seen my review for my Double D Plus lingerie, then you already know I just live for when Panache does nice little details that are different than the others. And this set also has that high flow technology, so you don't have to worry about this getting ruined by the chlorine or anything either. But yeah, that is it for all the Panache swimsuits. Now it is time to go on to the rain swim. Ooh! Serving you Baywatch realness in this Rain Swim Ashley bikini set. Now, Rain Swim is a smaller brand, but I reached out to them because I feel like what they are doing for the Fuller Bus community is freaking awesome. Now, their brand does serve F through K cups, so if you are an extremely busty woman, Rain Swim has got you covered. Now, the Ashley bikini set is non padded, but the support that it gives you is very, very nice and comfortable. This is a look at what the back of this suit looks like nice, thick bands, crisscross pattern, and you can see right here. It does have a traditional three hook. Now the top I got in a size large and the bottoms are a medium. And I do wanna say the bottoms do have really nice tummy control. Everything is nice and flat, sucked in, it looks really flattering, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And it also comes with this wide band underneath to help give you that extra support. Overall, I think this is super cute. Like I said, it's giving me major Baywatch running on sand type vibe. Again, shout out to Rain Swim if you guys want to check out this set along with many others from their brand then I will leave them in the description box below as well. Now I was a little nervous about this set right here. Um, this one is from ASOS. The reason why I decided to give them a try is because in their swimsuit section they have a fuller bust category. Now I ordered this top in a 34G. Let me see. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be fitting an American double D through G. It definitely has a lot of stretch to it. And honestly, I think it fits really nice. It's not perfect. There is a little bit of spillage if I turn to the side. You can see just a little bit, but I've seen <laughs> way worse at local stores here in America. So I think overall this fits very, very good. The bottoms, they don't have a lot of tummy control at all. Overall, the material's pretty thin, but I still think it looks flattering. And to be honest, I didn't even know what to expect for how this was gonna fit my body type. So, but overall, I think if you're looking for something to be a little bit more revealing, um, but still have that support. I think this definitely does the job. Another thing I do want to mention before I move on is it does not have any padding at all. So if you are self-cautious about your nipples showing, 
they're gonna probably show once you get in that water. Um, <laughs> you guys can follow me on Instagram. I think I might do an update when I actually do wear this in the pool and outside and get it wet and see how it holds up. But as for right now, I think this looks super freaking cute. <laughs> Okay guys, so this next set is the one I was like the most excited for. Um, and I got this one from ASOS as well, but I just, I'm, I'm really disappointed in how it fits. So um, before I show you the catastrophe of how this is, this is a little look at the sleeve detailing. It has these nice little ruffles and um, I don't know, it just doesn't fit how I how I thought. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't do a swimsuit haul without getting a yellow swimsuit. I was so excited to try this one on. It has these cute little ruffle detailings and it just didn't work out. Yes, technically I guess it does um, cover the girls, but it literally has zero support. I don't know what this is made out of, but it is way, way, way too stretchy. Um, the girls are looking a little sad. I think the main reason why there's literally zero support in this one is because the straps have no adjusting and they are super stretchy again. Yeah, so I think if the strap was adjustable, it would be better. To be honest, I don't want to pay for return shipping so I think what I might do is just customize it myself just so we can get that extra lift because right now it is just <laughs> it is just not happening okay so yeah I think it needs to be more in this realm of fitting rather than that because this is just it's just sad. I mean, it's super cute. I feel like I really wanted these ruffle sleeves to be a moment, but yeah, this, I guess this one, I don't even know. This one I'm gonna have to do some work to. Okay guys, now this next suit I'm gonna show you I got from Matt Swim. I've seen a lot of celebrities promoting them Specifically, Jordan Woods, she literally would always share um, their swimsuit, so I decided why not give it a try, let's see how the quality is and how it fits. Um, the main thing that helped me pull the trigger to even order from this brand is the fact that they shared a really busty girl in this same swimsuit I have, but it was just in a different color. So. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and order it. I think that'll work, but brace yourself before <laughs> I show you guys what this looks like. I'm just warning you, it is very sexy, very out there, um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what this style looks like on. Honestly, I forgot the name of this, so I will pop it right on the screen. But I got this in a size extra large, and this is something I would wear like with my man out on a beach, like doing some some stuff. But um, yeah, it's really sexy, and I feel like it really would boost anybody's freaking confidence. I'm literally obsessed with the color and the pattern. I had to get something yellow to really pop. I really wanted something to work. And y'all already saw the other one. It, I'm gonna have to work with the other yellow swimsuit that I just showed you guys. But this one is super cute. The way that this string goes around and wraps around your body and ties, um, I feel like everything is kind of staying in place. But like I said, this is extremely sexy. Um, I don't know if I would call this fitting exactly correct. It, I mean, I'm not even bullshit, y'all. It doesn't really fit that well, but I mean, it's passable. You can totally get away with wearing this and having everybody looking at you left and right, okay? <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so this next suit I ordered off of Fashion Nova. This is a size extra large. It comes in a set. And I decided to go with something more sporty because I felt like this would definitely help control the girls, cover them up, but also give some lift. Now this material is pretty stretchy. There is plenty of room to fit the girls in and contain them. I've worn this a few times. If you have seen my behind the scenes quarantine shoot, then this is what I had on with the camo pants. So it's very versatile. You could totally wear it as an outfit if you wanted. Um, but I think this would be good for days where you're on the jet ski, you don't want a boob popping out, like they're going to be contained and controlled. And for the many times that I have worn this, um, I've never had an issue with the zipper moving, coming up and down. Um, it does fully unzip so you can set it to how you want it, you can do it lower or you can go ahead and put it all the way up. But this is what this one looks like. I'm digging the neon accents. I feel like it really just makes everything pop. And this little belt detailing as well. It is attached to the bottom, so it's not gonna come off or slide up or down. It really kind of just stays in the same place. But it does indeed come undone as well. So it is a real buckle. <laughs> Okay, so this last suit I got from Fashion Nova as well. It is this nice, bright, neon, two-piece, um, long sleeve. Overall, I think it is really cute. It definitely holds the girls in. However, my only issue with this set is the fact that it's not double-lined. It almost is like they have just scrap neon spandex left over and they just tried to make it work. Um, yeah, so definitely you could totally see through this even when it's not wet, so that's a really big issue for me and honey, you don't even want to know what it looks like when it is wet because it is completely see-through. Um, definitely there's no way to really wear this unless you, unless they double line it. That's my issue with it is the fact that it's not double lined but other than that I like the style I just wish they would improve the construction of it there's no way I'm gonna really ever wear this out in public cuz honey they gonna be seeing everything <laughs> Alright guys, well that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, special thanks to Panache as well as Rain Swim for helping make this video happen. I really appreciate you guys. Be sure to go ahead and comment down below what you guys think your favorite swimsuit was. And if you guys want to go ahead and purchase any of these swimsuits for yourself, I will go ahead and do my best to leave them all in the description box. I got this haul. It's Shein. Um, I have partnered with them, so everything that you will see here has been gifted to me. Um, but I'm super excited to try these on. You guys have seen my neon yellow bathing suit before. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I am going to link it below uh, along with everything that is seen in here. Um, and I do have a code for some money off. So I'll link everything and give you all the details below. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to get into this. So. I'm going to put on the lime green bikini just so that you guys can see it again and I'll tell you the likes and dislikes and what size and what, what the price is and all of that kind of stuff for that outfit as well as the other one. So I have two dresses and two bathing suits. Let's get into it! Alright, so here is the first outfit. Um, you have seen this. If you're already following me on my social channels, you've seen this uh, worn because I do absolutely love it. So I got this a little while back. This is called the Plus Neon Green Contrast Fishnet High Waisted Bikini Swimsuit. 
It's a really long name for it, but it describes it pretty much to a T. It's got the fishnets, all that kind of stuff. I ordered it in a 3X and it is $17 Canadian. So I'm going to come a little bit closer so that you guys get a chance to, to see it everywhere. So my likes about this is the color, number one, the design, the straps are adjustable, which is awesome. I like how high-waisted it comes up. And overall, the price, because you cannot be a $20 bathing suit. So those are my likes. I do have a couple of dislikes. Number one is that you cannot order separates. So my top being a size or two smaller than my bottom, this is a little bit a little bit big on me. Um, but the straps are adjustable, so it kind of makes up for that. So that was number one. And number two is these cups in here are just not really doing much. Um, but those are my only two, two downfalls of this swimsuit. But again, $17 Canadian, which is like... $13 American is a steal for this bathing suit. I have heard actually from a couple of my followers who have seen this. They've also purchased it and they said when they went to pull it up, the fishnets ripped. So be careful with the fishnets. I've personally not had that issue. I usually grab it by the top and I pull up. Um, I have not grabbed it by the actual fishnet themselves, but keep that in mind if you do get this. Again, all the links and to save some more money, it's all down below, but I'm going to get into the next swimsuit. So, all right. So here is the next swimsuit. This one is the plus leather graphic belted bandeau bikini. Um, it is, I got it again in a 3X. It is $16 US. I have these prices in US dollars, so I'm sorry, Canadians. Probably be about 20 bucks Canadian. So, um, first off, love the color. Um, the top, again, is a little bit big because you cannot buy separates. But I, I don't know, I freaking, I like it. Like, I like the, the look of it. I wish that this was a faux belt with, like, a real clip here, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I wish that the belt was actually attached and then it just had this, um, this little, I wish it was attached to here and then you could like go ahead and make it tighter if you so wish because I find that the belt is riding up and eventually, especially because I have a smaller waist, eventually it's just going to be up here and I'm going to be pulling at this to like get this tighter um, because it is a little bit. I wouldn't size down per se. Um, I would say that this would be the right size for me. But I find that the waist a little bit is a, like the littlest bit too big. But again, I would not size down. I love the little French on it. I love that it is strapless. It also has some cups in here that are not doing anything but giving me a little bit more boob <laughs> it's not padded or anything but again this top is very very big so there is lots of room in the bust for my beautiful busty ladies but overall like I'm totally gonna be wearing this I love strapless just because I hate tan lines that much so yeah for what did I say it was $17 $16 American Again, you can't really beat that price for a bathing suit, you know? Okay, let's get into the dresses. I'm ready to, to try on these dresses. Okay, so here is the first dress. And I'm not going to lie, I was super worried about this dress because it kind of looked a little bit shiny online. So I was so worried about the fit of it being like a, like a satiny, like super huggy type dress. But I really like... The material of it. So this is called the Plus Geoprint Bodycon Dress. 
is $10 American in a 3X. And I sized up just because it's bodycon. I wasn't sure like what the fit was going to be like. I wanted to make sure that it fit. I am not wearing any shapewear underneath. So I'm just going to pre-warn you of that. But I, I actually really love this dress. Like for business meetings or like going out for like a super bougie girl's uh, drink you know like once this quarantine is over like I'm totally gonna be rocking this even on a date night like I feel like Scott would really like me in this so yeah it, I like the length of it like it goes just above the knee like overall I I love the pattern um it is super thin so I would say that this is a spring to fall dress this I would not wear in the winter like it is way too thin for that but I like that it does I hate shoulder pads I'm not gonna lie like just on me I feel like because I'm so big on the bottom to have shoulder pads it just makes me look like a linebacker <laughs> and I don't want that <laughs> so um yeah no I I really like this it does have a lot of stretch as well so I could have definitely sized down so if you're bigger than me um feel free to go for the 3X. 3X is the highest that they go to. Um, if you're about my size, don't be afraid to size down. You won't regret it. But yeah, overall, we are three for three. So let's try it. This, this next dress, it intrigued me so, so much. And you, you'll know why as soon as I put it on. But again, just like this dress, I was worried about like the material on it. So let's get into it and let's see see what it's like. Okay, so here is the final dress. This is the plus mock neck color block bodycon dress in a 3X, again, for 10 freaking dollars American. But even if it was like $20 Canadian, like it's still, I, love this dress and the reason I love this dress is just because it's colorful and you guys know me and my colors I just like to stand out and just be bright and fun and I could I could see myself wearing this to like a fashion show just to like stand out be fun kind of artsy you know how you want to like step outside that comfort zone at um fashion shows or like art shows or whatever and just be like super cute Kind of fun, artsy, I'll come nice and close. I would say that I would not size down in this one. So the arms fit perfectly and I feel like the, the body of it fits the way that I personally would like it. It's The length on it is perfect. I'm not wearing shapewear in this one either. So it's just kind of showing you how we let it all hang out, ladies and gents and other, whichever you are. I I freaking love this one and I cannot wait to take this one on a photo shoot because there's just so much I can do with it. I am super impressed with Shein. Online when I was going through it, I was like, uh, and I feel like it's because of like their model choices online. like. Companies need to work on their models online and like show real bodies on their websites because I would have shopped here long ago if I would have seen like me, for example, in this online unphotoshopped, you know, like you don't need to like, oh, my dog's going to come say hi. Hi, Sierra. What do you think of this? Not a big fan. That's okay. You're a good dog. Anyways, um, yeah, overall, super impressed. Again, companies need to work on their model selection and, like, not Photoshop uh, because I'm, overall, I'm super impressed with this. That's four for four. Price points are freaking killer. Like, you cannot beat those price points. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to link everything below. I'm going to give you a discount code. That does not mean that any of what I said is untrue. I'm not trying to sell this to you in any way, shape, or form. 
if you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. It's totally okay. I'm My feelings aren't hurt. I do this for a difference and to give uh, plus size bodies another place to shop because I feel like we are so excluded from the conversation of stores, you know, like there, there are stores that are trying and there are designers who are trying and I applaud them. They need to do better, obviously, like get those sizes bigger because if this is your biggest size and I'm your biggest customer, I feel like there's something wrong with that as well. But um, overall, super impressed with Shein uh, for the quality, the price, it, I, yeah. I'd spend my own money there, so that says something. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please, please, please hit the like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, do all the things. I have another video coming to you super shortly, so stay tuned. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Mwah.